What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to classify our data that we got from our PFSense firewall into Greylog. I'm going to show you how to break those alerts into different fields that we can actually use and classify and end up creating graphs like this. So when we get our data, as you can see, it's just this straight text with a uh, brackets and semicolons. You need to break down this text into fields, as you can see on the left here. So you can tell that this is just time. This is uh, our gateway and you can see what the classification is. So being able to break from classification and grabbing this field is what we're doing right now. And if you can do that, you end up actually being able to create graphs like this. So after this video, you should be able to create graphs like this from this data. So in, in order for us to break down this data into these fields, we need two things. You're going to need what they call a pipeline. Then uh, what pipelines are, it's pretty much uh, your data comes in from Snort, Snort or PFSense, and then you can put that data in what they call a stream, which is up here. Then that's just data coming in, in a stream. Then you put from a stream, you put it in a pipeline and what you're pretty much doing is grabbing that data, put it in a pipeline, and in that pipeline, you apply rules. And within those rules, that's how you break down the data into different fields. And it's very simple, I'll show you right now. So in order for you to create a pipeline, just go to System, Pipelines, and let me delete my test one here so we can recreate it. So add new pipeline, so you name this snort test and description is snort alerts and save. So now you have your pipeline, you created a pipeline. Then from this, you want to specify what to do with the data that goes in this pipeline. That's when you create rules and you can say manage rules, create a rule, and then you can name this, put a description for this rule and I'll name this snort dash rule. You can call this whatever you want. Then here is where all the magic happens. You, if you get this one right, your data will be broken down in whatever fields you want. I took inspiration from this gray log GitHub page. So I'll link to it. And as you can see, they show you exactly how to do what I'm already doing. They even have a dashboard here, which is similar to what I'm creating right here. So it's pretty much the same. So if you follow the instructions and follow this video, you should be able to do this. So I followed these instructions uh, and copied this rule right here, but uh, it looks like it's a little old, so it doesn't work with the current version of Greylog. But what you do is you just change this regex right here. The best way is just copy the one that I will have in the description for you. Otherwise copy this one and delete this section, which doesn't work. So this is the rule that we'll be using. So you can copy the one that I have in the description for you. Then uh, come back here and paste. If you copy and paste the one from Greylog website, you will notice that you get this error. And what this error does is uh, it tells you where the, there's an error and it's right, right somewhere around here. So if you replace this text, with the text that I'll have in the description or copy the one that I have, you will not have any issues. Once you create that rule, hit save. In fact, let me show you the one that I have. So if I go to my system, pipelines, this is the one that I have. Then uh, my rule is this one. So let's copy the one that I have here. And as you can see, we have this error right here. But if I remove that and put mine, that error is gone. And go ahead and hit save. That's all you have to do. After saving this rule, you should now have the rule showing up here. Then um, if you go back to your pipelines, you should have your pipeline is not applied to any streams yet so we need to go to our streams and apply this pipeline 
so again this is mine and it has a rule here so let's go to our stream and what a stream is is pretty much data streams data is coming in it's just coming in from whatever sources you have and you can classify different streams for different types of data and in this case i'm grabbing all the data from pfsense and putting it in one stream to make it easy otherwise you have to create a bunch of uh, indices to be able to tell which data is which but in this case we're just grabbing everything for simplicity so create a stream name it snort stream or whatever you want then a description it kind of wants a description then here that's where you specify the index that you want i don't want my snort squid index i only want the default for now then hit save it should say it has been created successfully but this stream doesn't have a pipeline yet it's just data coming in you're not doing anything to that data so let's apply that rule that we created so if you say manage rules and this stream you can create a bunch of rules to tell it to match certain parameters and in this case we're going to match our rule that we created if you remember we came to we came here this is the rule and we can break it down for you otherwise uh the rule is pretty much working on this re regex right here and we're going to tell our stream to match only data that matches the first part of our regex which is this part if data matches this that's when we apply the, the rule then it will break it down into these fields here and as you can see there's description classification priority protocol source address port address you can add to this if you want but uh in our stream right now we're going to specify that if data matches any of this first part apply all the apply this rule so that's what we're going to do and if you want this is how it says if a message must match regular expression this So let's go back to our um, streams. Add a stream rule. And the field that we want is message. If a message matches exactly this rule, which we just passed, you can put a description if you want. Then we can just save that one. That's what we're going to be using. Then you can create a second one if you want and they do suggest that you do it on this blog post an application name must match exactly snort my application name is not snort if you remember from my previous video mine is snort dash alert so we can create that rule as well application name instead of saying make it matches exactly because mine it doesn't uh i will say contain value snort or I can say matches exactly, snort, alert. It doesn't matter, really. It should work either way, then hit save. So this this is what these are the two rules that will apply to the stream. Once a stream is created and you have the stream rule that matches our pipeline, you just want to go back to our system pipelines. And as you can see, your pipeline is still not connected. So you want to go to edit that pipeline and edit connection then from here you can choose the stream that you just created and the rule that you have and choose the stream and hit save this will connect the stream to the pipeline and now you should have data flowing into your stream then after that go ahead and start your stream and if the second rule doesn't bring you any data just use one rule it, it will still work so start your stream and that will be how you get your fields once the data starts flowing you should go back to system inputs and click on your pfsense input and you should have all these fields on the left side right here and all the data should actually start showing up 
with these fields and if the way you use these fields is you let's uncheck the message and show the ones on current page i'm going to search for logs that contain the word classification because that's one of the fields that we extracted and i want to see the classification by checking the classification as you can see it says miscellaneous attack so this data is being passed right now i want to see the description it's it's not alert destination port as you can see these fields are showing uh, then I want to see priority it's two so this data has been parsed and uh, as you can see we have all these fields let's go ahead and create a, a graph of the classification this graph will look something like what, what I showed you earlier so we have the classification we want to see this in a graph let's just do quick values this is the easiest one and as you can see I have a classification so you can add this to a dashboard and I have a dashboard called snort alerts otherwise just go ahead and create your own dashboard and you can add this to a dashboard if you want so this is how you end up with your data broken down into different fields and then you can create graphs we can even do this with any other here where if you want to create another dashboard for the the level i'm not sure if it will look good but the level as you can see level one and six that's what i have right now so this is how you create these different fields if you have any issues let me know in the comments below i'll be able to help you it's very simple otherwise guys that's it for the snort alerts go ahead and subscribe and like in the next video i'm going to show you how to deal with the firewall logs and the squid logs and we also create graphs and in the end we don't really want these graphs in gray log we really want them in grafana so all this data we can grab it and put it in grafana it's very simple it's one click of a button and then we can have grafana dashboards which i think are better than the gray log ones so that's how we break the data subscribe and like i will see you in the next video where we'll deal with more of these logs i hope you enjoy these videos See you later.